Hi, this is Mark Sloss and I'm with James Fisher Technologies out of Colorado. Out here today with Jordan Zaline from Zaline Enterprises. Our company does excavator safety systems. Uh, so Jordan came to me with a problem about um, working underneath power lines and needing a, a limiting device. It's kind of where we are right now. Jordan, tell me a little bit about your company. Like you said, my name is Jordan Zaline. I'm with the Vice President of Zaline Enterprises. Uh, we've been in business since 1998. And we started off as an aggregate hauling company and we slowly grew into aggregate recycling and then site work. And uh, now we're um, taking on projects such as this one as, as GC. Mm -hmm. um, anything that's uh, pretty much heavy infrastructure and, and heavy in site work and, and roads and underground activities. Awesome, man. Tell me about this particular project uh, and, and, and why you guys came to us and, and you know kind of the scope of it and that type of thing. This project is uh, for the Florida Department of, of Transportation. It's a 14 acre park and ride facility. So, and they're using the space underneath these transmission lines, which is, in, is also an easement for FPL. And so this is a unique situation where we're limited uh, to a 16 foot height because of the safety of, of the transmission lines. Uh, we can't have any equipment under here that can exceed the height of, of 16 feet from, from the finish uh, floor okay. elevation. As, as you can see, we're very restricted with the water table and trying to get these big drainage structures installed that some of them weigh as much as um, 14,000 pounds. So wow. it's not like we can just be out here with uh, backhoes and shovels and picks. Well, we were looking for a solution to keep our, our uh, productivity high with, with these bigger machines and also keep the guys safe and fall within the uh, regulations required by FPL. Awesome. And that's when I started doing some research and I came across you guys. Give me the rundown as far as, you know, your operators and, and the, the ease of the system. How are those guys doing with it? Is it, uh, is it a pretty simple system for them to understand? And It's very simple, actually. Uh, it's just um, my supervisors that know how to set the height. Your guys who installed the uh, limiters were very helpful. They explained it to myself and, and my foreman. As far as for, for the guys, on uh, uh, the ease of use, it's very simple. It's a little screen, six buttons, and all they have to do is just watch the screen and make sure that, that they're not moving to that limit too abruptly in order for them to operate with, with ease. Yeah, and so, and I guess that's something that's a little different with our system. Uh, there's other systems out there that uh, just have a warning system here. Uh, if you're going up there, it's going to hydraulically stop. So yeah. there's, there's no hard way to stop. So yeah, hard so, stop. So if you're yeah. going full speed ahead, it's, it's probably not. Yeah, it's, it's probably not the stop. best idea. Exactly. But you know it's going to stop. Yeah, and you know you're not going to have a, a worse problem than than correct than uh, getting shocked. I know that you guys also have a swing limiting capability of that. Have you guys used that yet? The the swing limiter. No, we have not, but the installers, the uh, techs, they explained us how to do uh, how to use it, and it seems like a, uh, something very useful, especially if you're working next to a railroad or working next to a wall or some kind of barrier. You know, these guys, when they're digging trenches and installing pipe, you know, they get so into the work, they kind of forget, you know, that they could have some kind of danger, you know, or a, a swing danger or anything. So it, on this project, I don't foresee us using it, but it's a it's it's definitely a great asset to have. Um, Something you guys on, might yeah. need down the line. And down I was thinking line. that you guys might actually, if you guys are working next to a pole, that type of thing, there, there might be a, a use for it here, just depending yeah. on how the project goes. I guess as the, the manager and, and the, the vice president of the company, how does it, I guess, make you feel just, you know, kind of knowing that you guys are. Yeah, it's, it definitely helps me sleep at night. Knowing. <laughs> Knowing that tomorrow might not be, it will definitely not be a day that, you know, something will go wrong out here. So it's one less worry. I've got plenty of other things to worry about. <laughs> 